my name is Trevor. Welcome back to this channel. In this tutorial, I created a simple manipulation in Photoshop. This photo in this drop, water drop. So let's see how I got that. It was from this to this and this and this. Finally, to this. So I got all these images from Unsplash, and a free website to download stock and reality free photos. So you can check them out. So let's try to create this and see how we can do that. So I'm having my drop. So I'm reading this layer has draw and this is my background EKG. So let's see what fast. So let me calibrate this photograph first camera roll. To give it a dark brown movie style, so I'm going to color mixer and I choose here and this actually the greens and the aquas in the photograph, even blues and pop up the reds and orange and the yellows to the maximum. So I'm going, uh, going to go to the hue and make my yellows orange. So, I make my oranges a bit red. So, I make my red contrast like that. So, with the luminosity, I want the greens to the yellows to fall with the brightness, and the greens also to fall, the purpose also to fall. So I want to add a bit of effect in this. So I want to bring this. That's nice. And let me go to my calibration. And let me pop with the blues. I hope that is nice. So that was the before and after, before and after, before and after. So okay, that's the color graded photo. So I want to put a there here. So I'm going to go to my there, select the object selection tool and drag to my one more so I want to cut it out so I'm using the lasso tool with the feather of zero to quickly add So now with the selection, so I'll press Ctrl J or Command J to copy up my my animal and paste it on the new layer. So I'm going to drag this animal to this 
форум. Хорошо. And resize so that it fits. So I want it to fit there. And I want it to place out not up labels and make this animal a bit dark. Edges, so I'll press Control or Command, click in the thumbnail to load up the selection of that subject in this layer. So I'll press Command Shift I to invert my selection, check with the lasso tool, and bring the feather eyes to to four or three. Or you can go to can deselect this you can go to select subject and it selects that subject for you so after that press command shift i then right click select feather as three then backspace three or four times so it will release a bit of sharpness that was on the edges so I want to blend this envelope onto this photograph so that it blends and lights up. So I'm releasing part of this 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 layer so that it fits in the brushes. So I'm using the clone stamp to to copy and paste the bits of the subject in the background or in this forest and paste it. And paste it. So I'm checking with this background layer. So copy, paste on this layer. So I think this is really nice. So this is our first manipulation. So this was the people after. So when this wants to help. Let's see. 
yes. So this was the before and after. So I'm going to select all, press command shift out E to match all the what you have edited and paste it above. So I'm dragging this there on top of this one and I start trying to scout this a bit down reduce the first first you see how you want your manipulation to fit that way so I'm scaling the beat to that that's wonderful so I'm bringing the opacity back I'm turning off the visibility for that and I use a quick selection tool and create a selection so I'm going back to my subject and press Ctrl Shift I to reverse the selection on this subject, I'll press the backspace to delete what is left. Um, I'm putting a mask on this layer. So uh, I'm putting a mask on this layer. Select the gradient tool and paint on the mask. So I've created this feather on the lower there that was sharp. So I'm using a day. I'm using a brush to add more black to the mask. Using a little brush so that it feathers out nicely. So this is really fine. So I'm bringing out this drop this drop and you can set that bringing out this drop so desaturate by pressing ctrl u and change the blend mode from normal to divide where are you divide so scale it to where you want it to be. I think this is really nice. It's creating a water press control J and press command T to transform flip vertical and you want to create a beautiful reflection of this so drag a bit up and come to this come to this draw and you want to create a selection of it so press D and select press control D to deselect and press on this drop to create a selection to make that shape so come to this inverted layer and press command shift I to to invert the selection and press D to delete the rest so I'm um, having this as my 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 refraction down so so let's now try to make this realistic I'm putting the mask on this one. 